Today we wake up at Old Year Farm Stay, a beautiful campsite north of Mackay. And what an awesome place to wake up. We are the only people here and just an amazing spot. This week we are going to travel along the east coast from Mackay to Bandaberg and try to explore some more beautiful places along the way. We've uh, arrived at our stopover for the night and I say a night because we're only staying for one night and I'm running the water right now because I tried to try to drink and it tastes like it comes straight out of a pool uh, there's a heavy chlorine salt taste to the water it tastes really bad I took a mouthful and I had to spit it out now I'm not too fussy when it comes to things but basic clean drinking water is it's not too much to ask so yeah I have to say that Aaron never complains about the campsite. Usually it's me the one who complains and Aaron always put it off like nah it's not too bad, it's fine. We're only here for a couple of nights. So if Aaron complains about this campsite, it means that it's very, very bad. But we just drove for four hours straight, so we are going to rest here for the night anyway. Just because we are sick of driving. But by the way, we're making some lunch. We boil some water to see if we can drink it and we will try to forget where we are. That's proper vegan, that's super wet. Today we had an awesome start of the day. I have to say it's not keep going very well. Good news is that Kiara's pillow managed to stop a lot of the water from, here, <laughs> from hitting her side because it soaked it all up. <laughs> The bad news that Chiara won't have a pillow tonight. <laughs> I don't have to go out to the servo to buy it, these two big bottles of water. Also, we hate single use plastic bottles because obviously they're not very environmental friendly. The closest supermarket was 100 kilometers away, that's why we had to buy them at the service station. That cost us 750. <laughs> so, in total, this campsite cost us. $37.50 which is what we were paying in Cairns in this beautiful beautiful full tropical campsite. Now I'm going to check out the showers. That was the shower. So it was dirty, not the dirtiest I have seen but the worst was the water it smells like chlorine so much. I feel like I just had a shower with pool water and I also smell like if I just jump in the pool and it feels sticky, it, yeah, but it was hot, that's a good thing. Today's a new day and we are moving to a new campsite, hopefully where the water doesn't taste like pool water and we can actually drink it without gagging. <laughs> uh, we're headed south, hopefully we'll get to Gladstone today should do weather permitting and um yeah that's uh well, that's what we're doing today and that's pretty much it <laughs> not a very interesting day we got the campsite in gladstone and the weather is a bit rainy a bit dreary and not very nice to do much in so we've devoted the rest of our time here to work <laughs> uh it's not so bad i guess it's nice and cozy in the bus when it's not leaking Nice and warm, so yeah, we're working. Well, one of us is working. Which is, it's me. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm watching cat videos. <laughs> uh, the weather is very miserable today. It's another super rainy day today. Usually we prefer not traveling under the rain, but we need to be in Bundaberg by tonight. So let's hope the weather won't be too bad. We have snacks for the trip. Water. A puppy. Now uh, I'm uh, not really looking forward to driving another two hours, but it has to be done. So that's what we're gonna do. That's all I can say, really. We arrived in Bundy a few days ago and we only just made it 
because the Bruce Highway has flooded near Mackay. Uh, it's been raining for the last few days, so we haven't gone on any adventures. We've just been catching up with some friends and family. But today is the first reasonably sunny day we've had. So now we're going to go show you all the beaches that Bundaberg has to offer. So here we are at Moor Park Beach. And as you can see behind me, and in front of me, hang on, spin around. It's a bit windy. It's a very quiet little beach. Well, it's not pretty, it's not little. It actually goes for a few kilometers, but we're not going to walk that far today. Moorpark, I have a lot of memories about Moorpark Beach. Because uh, when I was small, I used to train Taekwondo. And before a major tournament, we had a few weeks of training and some days we would train on this beach which involved a lot of running up sand dunes and kicking in the water and lots of fun stuff like that. Um, there's not much else to say about Moor Park. The water is always sandy but it is a friendly place and it's always quiet and it's nice and peaceful. Alright, next beach. We are here now at Monrepo Beach. This place is famous for having turtles hatch here. So if you come here at the right time of the year, you can see the turtles hatch, the little baby turtles hatch, and you can see them make their way down into the surf. And sometimes if you're lucky, you'll see mama turtle come up to lay her eggs, which is really cool. I'm looking for shells. <laughs> what have you found? Not much. It would have been nice uh, if uh, it was not broken. Oh. But there are many rocks here. Here we have a little infograph telling us the mating cycles of the turtle. So when they do their courtship, when they nest, when they hatch, when they feed, and when they migrate. You can see throughout the years, or throughout the year, what they do. All right, time to head to the next beach. We just got to Ajax Heads, which is, I think, my be my favorite beach in Bundaberg. But first, we went to get some lunch. So where we go to get these chips and these uh, deep fried cheese sticks is a place called Busy Bee, and they've been established in Bundaberg for 45 years. With the same recipe. They've only just recently changed hands to new ownership, but it seems to be pretty good. The cheese sticks are the best. Look at this, so much cheese. The particular thing about the chips is that they are crumbed. And I never found them anywhere else, only at Busy Beach. Very good. This is a heart attack waiting to happen. <laughs> Worth it though. This is our last beach. I hope you can hear me because it's super windy. We are in Kuna, which is a beach just south of Bundaberg. Oh god, I hope <laughs> I think it's south. In front of us there is the King Kuna National Park in which you can camp if you have a four-wheel drive. This was our last beach for today. Look how beautiful it is. It's so empty. We want to fly the drone and show you guys this beach from above, but unfortunately, it's a bit windy, so maybe another day. All right, it's time to explain to you why we came back to Bundaberg. Yes, because we were way up in North Queensland and it was a 15 hour drive by car, so it was about a 20 hour drive by bus. So we spent a lot of time and a lot of money just to come back to Bundy because we are going overseas again. Yes. <laughs> this time, we are instead of going to Europe, we are headed to Southeast Asia and we are going to check out Thailand. We will probably head to Laos and Cambodia as well. So if you have any tips about any of these countries, please let us know in the comments. We're so excited. We can't wait to eat Asian food, explore a new country. We've never been uh, in either of these countries, so we're very excited. One of us is more excited than the other. This is my excited face. 
<laughs> I don't have some problem with excitement. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Good thing one of us gets excited for both of us. Sure. But anyway, today is the day that we need to clean this bus that is disgusting. Pack up cover the bus with a tarp because it leaks, it's still leaking. If you have been watching our videos, you know that we fix these leaks 20 times, but it keeps leaking. So we will cover it because we will stay away for almost two months. What else? We need to mouse proof the bus because when we came back from Europe, it was, we found mice everywhere. Um, cleaning, washing, packing. Give away the dog. Give away the dog. <laughs> Just for two months. Uh, Iron's friend will keep it. Keep her. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Alita. That's it. That's all That's we it? Yeah. That's it. Let's do it. Okay, it's my job to put the tarp on the roof of the bus to make sure it doesn't leak anymore. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do now. That's pretty much it. Because the majority of our leaks happen at the back of the bus, that's where I've put the tarp, as you might be able to see behind me. Uh, there's not much to it, you put the tarp over the bus and you tie it down and hopefully that stops all the leaks. Time for a quick lunch. Stop it. Yesterday we went to Bunnings and we bought some flat bit of crap wood <laughs> to seal up the front of the wardrobe to make sure no mice get in when we're away. So what I'm doing now is cutting it to size and making sure it gets. Next is going to be the fridge. It's not very full, but we will need to um, uh, turn the power off in the bus. So we need to empty it and we'll give everything to Iron's mom. That's a lot of food. I'm protecting my chili jam that we got in Italy. And hopefully it doesn't get eaten. There's one more thing we need to do and at least one of us will not like it and that is uh, give the rug a clean. What do you think though? Excited? She's not excited. Let's go. It's probably overkill. Hey, yeah, you smell like a wet dog. <laughs> Next. Now she gets to go for a walk. Come come here. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Oh, bye, baby puppy. I will miss you. Alright. Can't hear anything. Time for me to clean the floor. Hi, you go. Sad. Aww. Poor puppy. She didn't want me to go. Good morning. It is 4 a.m. We have the train from Bandaberg from to Brisbane at quarter past five. So we need to go. We pack our bags. And mine is much smaller than Aaron. It's also much fuller. Let's hope we got everything. We made it to Brisbane uh, and as you can see we're carrying all our luggage and um, it's pretty heavy so what we're going to do is see if we can find our hotel and see if they'll store it for us while we explore Brisbane to the hotel we were able to do a, a early check-in which is awesome because there's 10 30 and we are other in our room the receptionist the owner of show was lovely so here we have the bed a table we even have a fridge and 
coffee stuff a TV which we won't use and look at this in the bathroom we even have a sewing kit a shower cap and a vanity kit how cute is that? it's better than what I expected to be honest it's pretty cool and it's only a three minute walk from the train station which makes it handy when we need to get up early tomorrow we lost you for a while there, we went uh, to have lunch, we were all day and now it's dinner time. Tomorrow we have to wake up very early because we are flying out from Brisbane 9. We hope that you enjoyed this video even if it was a little bit different than usual. And we know that uh, the majority of you follow us for our Australian content, but we hope you will keep following us during our trip through Asia. Yep, and if you like this video, make sure you give it a like, thumbs up, a share and a subscribe and we will catch you in the next one. And we will see you in Singapore.